Hello friends, my name is Dr. Rajiv Kumar Chauhan. I have done PhD from Indian Institute of Technology, Mandi. I am going to present my PhD thesis on design and performance analysis of multi-terminal DC microgrid. Motivation behind the execution of the project is erratic, unreliable, fluctuated power supply. To overcome these problems, IMS system has been designed along with voltage controllers, real-time optimization of billing, protection of a system and demand side management scheme with the demonstration of a hardware. IMS as a distributed energy resources with lumped load and with distributed load keeps the ideal characteristics of the battery and the selection of the nearest source to the load respectively. It optimizes the power loss in the battery, power lines and increases the system efficiency. Moreover, it improves the battery life and their performance. PID and fuzzy PID controllers are used to get the stable voltage while the real-time price-based optimization has been done by scheduling of a load and source. To improve the system reliability, a protection scheme has been implemented to activate the nearest circuit breaker in case of fault in the microgrid system. Performance of a protection system has been tested for a fault resistance of 1 ohm to 10 kilo ohm. Demand side management scheme has been developed and analyzed using a prototype hardware to regulate the state of charge of the battery and optimize the use of battery energy. It also optimizes the size of PV plant and battery bank to reduce the capital cost of the system. IMS optimizes the power loss in the source and microgrid system. The real-time electricity price-based energy management system shifts the load from the high to low stress time interval to reduce the peak demand of the microgrid. Proposed system increases the microgrid efficient microgrid energy save 4.5% and decreases the energy consumption 19% from the public utility. Moreover, energy save price is 2.23% high and energy consumption price is 5.4% low. Proposed scheme also in decrease the battery electricity bill 6.12% while the battery and hybrid car received 11.21 and 15.36% profit respectively. In conclusion, I can say that the target to get uninterrupted, stabilized, protected and optimized power supply has been fulfilled at high efficiency and low cost. The research exhibits the industrial and commercial aspects in terms of its implementation in institutional and residential buildings. Working hardware is useful for the analysis purpose for the future researchers. The work having the future scope to add more renewable energy resources and intelligent devices and opportunity to implement it for wide locality. Thank you very much.